It's been two weeks since I've done my last pilot flying J update, and there's been significant activity, mostly in the area of spotted under construction, but there's also two new sites that have opened. Let's go ahead and get into the update. First off, this YouTuber did a site visit video of the Knoxville, Tennessee and his Ford F-150 Lightning. I'll link the video down below in the description. It's a nice review. He covers the station really well. He goes inside the convenience store and everything. Also, I want to call out this build, which is not open yet. It's in uh, Victor, Iowa on Interstate 80. But what they did in order to build this, apparently they didn't have space on the uh, existing area. So they built a whole new uh, concrete area in which to put this pull-through canopy station, which really shows their motivation here. If there's no space, they'll make space. <laughs> I thought that was very impressive. And it looks like a beautiful station my goodness it's you know this beautiful canopy it's got the uh, four stalls with pull through and um, its own little area built just for it so i figured that was worth calling out here's the new graph showing progress right over here at the tail end shows the additional two stations but we're still making steady progress and we're not quite sure if we're going to see the same push to the finish line that we saw at the end of last year, but it seems to be that the activity is definitely starting to pick up steam. New this update, uh, Weatherford, Texas, which is right down here, opened. Uh, Pendleton, Kentucky, this was a sleeper site. Let me just show what I'm talking about with a sleeper site. When I went to go add pin drops onto PlugShare, for coming soon locations. I only did so when I was 100% certain I could uh, identify which Pilot Flying J we were referring to. And in this location, you could see on Interstate 71, there's two. And so I had no idea which one of these two um, pilot, flying, pilot gas stations they were gonna build this uh, EV charging into. So I didn't put a pin drop and just this past week, a EV station opened without anyone having known that it was there or under construction. It just finally opened. So that's what you call a sleeper site. Um, so that opened. Uh, Good Hope, Alabama is spotted under construction. LaSalle, Illinois by Chris C. was spotted under construction on one of his trips. He does confirm this is a canopy site, but we do not have any pictures yet in PlugShare. Lubbock, Texas, which is over here uh, below Amarillo is spotted under construction in the early phases. The chargers are on site. Graham, North Carolina. I spotted this one on one of my, one of my trips and it's in a great location. Let me just pull this up real quick on PlugShare. You see Greensboro, North Carolina and Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina are here and it's right in the middle on Interstate 40. And this section of Interstate 40 as it goes on into Western North Carolina is actually shut down for traffic. So there's a lot of people coming down this 40 and then going down 85 as a detour, or you can go up to Interstate 81 also as a detour. But this station is bigger than usual. Um, I'm not quite sure. I think it might be bigger because the, I think the state of North Carolina requires for the disbursement of Volkswagen Dieselgate funds for there to be a Chatham handle. And so in Kenley, North Carolina, they put in an extra city charger that had a Chatamo handle, but they also had two 350 kilowatt Delta dispensers. So if you look here, there's one pedestal there, there's one pedestal here, and there's a third pedestal here. So that could be what they're doing here. And I'm not quite sure what this is. I think this might be a canopy uh, foundation, but still very large. And it is um, right in the main section of the parking lot for Denny's. This is a very busy uh, Flying J. It's very popular and uh, really nice Denny's and right across the street is a pilot also. So if you don't want to have a sit down meal, you can walk across the street to the pilot and there's a Wendy's over there. Um, this is what the uh, the pedestal looks like for the uh, switch gear and the actual chargers um, all ported in place and another view going down here. So we'll see if there's going to be a canopy or not. Um, I'm still uncertain. This could be similar to the Clearbrook, Virginia, where they put chargers in the middle of the parking lot, but they did not put up a canopy, or it could have a canopy with pull through. Uh, so we'll have to see what transpires here. And let's see if there's any other pictures. I think there might be one more picture. Yeah, it's just nothing much, just bollard. Okay. Jamestown, New Mexico is in the early phases with just construction fencing uh, put up, spotted by Artie Penguin. 
and Oakland, Oregon is also in the early phases with just the construction fencing put up. This is what it looks like in table form. <clears throat> I'll pause here for a second. And then pricing. Uh, the pricing continues to come down just a fraction, uh, but the nice thing is that it is still dropping. So we're now at 57.7 cents as an average price for the entire network. The top prices remain at 69 cents. The lowest prices remain at 45 cents. We have 73 open, 57 spotted under construction. The state of Texas is still on top. It increased its lead by one over Ohio. Interstate 40 is now uh, the clear winner as far as interstates because we've had an additional one added to Interstate 40. Um, so it's above Interstate 75 with 14. The central time zone has 27 open, 23 spotted under construction. The eastern time zone has 41 open, 23 spotted under construction also. The mountain time zone has 2 open, however it has 8 spotted under construction. And the Pacific time zone has 3 open and 3 spotted under construction. In the Nevi world, three additional awards were issued to Pilot Corp in Iowa, Osceola, Altoona, and Percival, Iowa. Each got awards on the uh, Phase 1 uh, disbursements. And just to refresh, if anyone is unfamiliar, there's uh, for canopy locations, there's also non-canopy locations that Pilot Flying J builds, but about half, a little bit more than half, have the canopies. And of the ones that have canopies, there's either this rectangular canopy up against the curb, there's a square canopy, which is supposedly the most popular. I'm not sure. I haven't done an audit. I suppose I should, but this Type-C is supposed to be the most popular, which is a square canopy with pull-through. They also have pull-through with two different diamonds, depending on the drive lines. Uh, they'll put in a diamond, or they could extend the gas canopy. This has only been done at one location so far, though. I'm going to go ahead and roll the slide deck that shows all the canopy locations, both open and spotted under construction, as well as all of the full data tables. Thanks for watching.